OK, so this is uh, another example of uh, relative motion. Um, and although we are only dealing with translating relative motion at the moment, so motion, motions which are in straight lines, and the, the relative motion of two points moving in a straight line, uh, in this situation we have something which is rotating, so it can be a bit confusing. We're looking at ro motion in uh, rectangular coordinates and in polar coordinates, and we're going to consider the instant that uh, the point B is moving um, tangentially to the circle. Um, and we're going to look at the relative motion between A and B. Okay. Now, so we've got the situation here where you're told that the, the car A has a forward speed 18 kilometers an hour, and it's going to be important to put this into vectors in order, because we're going to solve this vector equation um, using vector notation. And of course, translating relative motion is, is only uh, vector addition, that's all it can be. So to get the vector of the, the speed of the car, we, we convert our uh, speed of 18 kilometers an hour into 5 meters per second using our factor of 3.6. So we get our vector for A of 5i plus 0j, because it's going horizontally, and x and y are defined as, as shown. And the acceleration is given to be 3 meters per second also in that direction. So similarly, our acceleration vector is 3i plus 0j. Now we need to get an, a vector expression for the, the motion of B as it moves around the big wheel. And we're told that B is rotating with a constant rate of 3 revolutions per minute, so to translate that into theta, we say that 3 revolutions per minute is equal to 2 pi divided by 60 seconds, which gives us pi over 10 radians per second. Now because it's a constant rotational motion, theta double dot is 0. So Vb is equal to the radius, which is 9 meters, times pi over 10. So yeah, you have the expression... 9 over 10 times pi meters per second. And from there, it's simply a case of adding these two vectors. And if you want to see the, the motion of the car, VA, with respect to the, the, the observer at B, and you're looking for the vector A slash B. So you're looking for the line here, this part of the vector. And since you know these two expressions in their vector components, you can simply add them. So you've got VB, which is going in this direction, and you need to convert that into I and J coordinates, or at least write it in terms of I and J coordinates. And so you have the magnitude, 9 tenths pi, cos 45, because you know it's going at a 45 degree angle. It's going to give you the I component, and minus sine 45 and minus because it's going against the unit vector direction downwards in the j direction. So your VB component is 2i minus 2j. So then the combination or the addition of these two vectors <coughs> VAB and VA minus B that's 5 minus 2i minus 2j. So the answer is 3i minus 2j for the um, the relative motion, the relative velocity of A with respect to B. Now similarly, we can do the same for the acceleration. And while there's no tangential acceleration, there is of course a, an acceleration towards the center of the circle because it's moving in a circular motion. So AB is acceleration of B towards the center of the um, wheel. Now, I've circled this here just to to emphasize it, that's not representing the the location of the big wheel. I'll just put that in. So that would be the center of the big wheel. And that's the big wheel. And so it's going to have, if that looks like a circle, the component of the acceleration towards the center of the circle. <coughs> this is the acceleration of... Zoom in a bit, maybe. This is the acceleration of B um, towards the center of the circle, and this is the acceleration of A uh, 
uh, this is in the car moving, uh, accelerating to the right. Now we superimpose these two vectors and we're looking to find the acceleration of A with respect to B, so we're looking for the vector A slash B. And A slash B is going to be vector of A minus vector of B. So just zoom back again. In order to do this, the um, we need to, to translate the the circular acceleration component into IJ coordinates. So you have the magnitude, which is V squared over R, so VB squared over R. And again, the components minus cos 45I, because it's going backwards at 45. It's going towards the center of the circle, and the I and J is still in this direction. So minus 45 I direction and minus sine 45 in the J direction. So the, the vector of the acceleration of B towards the center of the circle is minus 0.628I minus 0.628J. And then simply combining them will give you the overall vector of the acceleration as shown here. And that's it.